Theliriosis. This comprises a group of infections caused by protozoan parasites of the genus Theliria and transmitted by ixodial ticks. They occur in a variety of ruminants and wild animals. Both members of the genus Babesia and the genus Theliria occur within red blood cells. They are collectively called pyroplasms, and the infections caused by the two are thus sometimes known as pyroplasmosis. Thelaria annulata is one of the ticks born hemoprotozoan disease and transmitted by hyaloma anatolicum, East Coast fever, ECF. Etiology. The cause is a protozoan parasite, Thelaria parva. The cattle parasite should be called T. parva parva and that of the buffalo, T. parva lorense. Signs paracute, pyrexia, anorexia, depression, weakness, and die in three or four days. Acute, enlargement of the lymph nodes. Superficial lymph nodes such as the parotids, prescapulars, and precrurals become very enlarged. Pyrexia, temperature rising to 39.542 degrees Celsius, 103-108 degrees Fahrenheit. Anorexia, inappetence, loss of condition, lacrimation, nasal discharge, diarrhea or dysentery. Constipation is common when pyrexia first occurs, but later there is diarrhea and blood-stained feces. Ruminal stasis. As the animal deteriorates and approaches death, the temperature falls. There is severe dyspnea and recumbency. Nasal exudate pours out of the nostrils. The animal dies of asphyxiation from lung edema. The mortality tends to be near 100%. Occasionally, nervous signs develop, and this is known as turning sickness. Lethargy. Anemia with pale mucous membranes. Exercise intolerance. Rapid heart rate. Jaundice may become apparent. 90% die over a period of 8 to 18 days. Chronic. The lymph nodes tend to be enlarged. Intermittent pyrexia. Anorexia. Loss of condition. These animals frequently recover.